Training's going really good. Um, I'm feeling really confident. I'm just starting to do bar routines again and theme routines and then everything else kind of feels like it's just coming along and this morning my um, vaults were really good and I didn't do them tonight just because it was last event and I did them this morning so I'm just kind of trying to rest for tomorrow when we have camp next week so I want to be fresh for that. And you debuted in Aminar this year, is that what you're training or are you going to stick with the double? I'm definitely going to do two and a half. They've been a lot more consistent lately and um, I feel like things are just kind of clicking, so I'm excited to show everyone. Last year, I went to the American Cup, and I finished third. And then I went to Italy, and I finished third there too. And then I went to the Cargo Girl Classic, and I won that, which was really exciting. And that was the first time I landed my two and a half in a competition. and The only time so far, but hopefully there will be a lot more of those to come. And do you, do you feel that this was a breakout year for you? And if so, what was the biggest change? I think for me the biggest confidence booster was obviously winning the team gold medal and also being fourth in the all-around with um, a mistake like I made on bars, just knowing that I'm still fourth in the world, even with that is a really big confidence booster for next year. It shows me that I can be in the top three in the all around and I just have to believe it and just go for it 100%. Do you ever think back at that and just cringe and you're so close? Or... <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. I mean, it's frustrating, but I believe everything happens for a reason and I'm hoping that uh, the third time will be a charm and um, I think it's just all a learning experience, so you just kind of, you can't look back, and I'm trying not to have any regrets because I know that I worked really hard, and I'm just going to learn from it for next year. And you recently made a big decision. Um, you were planning to go to Florida, mm -hmm. and now you're not. Yeah. So um, can you tell us what you did in your in thought process there? Um, it was a hard decision because, of course, I love all the girls that go to Florida, and I having that team experience would also be amazing, and college gymnastics is so much fun, but... I also have always kind of wanted to go pro just for the experience and to be able to um, do new things. I figured that a lot of people get the opportunity to do um, college gymnastics and other college sports and not a lot of people get the opportunity to go pro. So I just kind of wanted to try it and um, we'll see where it takes me. Okay. And it hasn't been very long, but have you gotten to do anything neat yet? I have. I went in November, a lot of the girls who went to... Uh, California for this NBC USOC shoot which was a ton of interviews and it was so much fun and there was photo shoots and I also got to do a Ralph Lauren photo shoot so that was really really cool and exciting and then there's a couple more things that I'm that are coming up but I'm not allowed to say it. it's a secret. <laughs> okay well, I won't find out either. <laughs> <laughs> With it being an Olympic year does it put any more stress any does it feel different for you than past years? It feels a little bit different, but in a good way because every day, even when I'm really tired, I just think about making the Olympic team and what my goals are, and I just push myself forward, and it, I use that as a motivator even on the hardest days. And what would you say is the biggest thing that you're working on right now? Definitely just doing the two and a half really consistent because I know that I can do it, and I just have to make sure that I get do a million two and a halves and then it'll get there. A million? Yeah. <laughs> Did it get to work? <laughs> I've done a lot already. I'm almost there. Tumbling. Um, I saw some big passes from you today, which I guess isn't too big of a surprise, but um, what's the, what are your floor passes looking like? What's the plan there? Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, um, I just started doing the Arabian punch layout and same with the Arabian um, pike punch front. That I literally just started doing that a couple of weeks ago and I haven't been doing them every day so it's still really new so we're just gonna kind of see how it goes and then hopefully it will work out but if not I always I still have um, enough difficulty I think from last year and I'll just try to improve my jumps more and my dance and my landings. So.